There are not many days in early August or really August in general that we could really describe as beautiful and it was a nice day. A lot of sunshine temperatures. Yes, upper 80s, low 90s. It is still August, but the humidity was not bad at all. It's only a 38% the relative humidity as the dew point is right now at 61 and notice not often as well. Can we say the heat index is exactly what the temperature is? So there is no heat index outside. It was very comfortable this morning, especially in areas that dropped into the 60. 64 was the low at Hammond, 67 at Slidell, and surprisingly, we were able to get into the low 70s this morning at Kenner. What helped us out is we had a warm wind out of the north. Lake water temperatures are in the mid 80s, almost 90 degrees, and as soon as that subsided, the temperature at Kenner dropped by about 8 degrees. So you get rid of that warm air effect, and the temperature was able to cool off. We even had some 60s south of the lake and I do think we will see another comfortable morning tomorrow. Our high was just below average and the low was well below average, but that was not a record low record low on this day to 67, which would have been incredible. That was set back in 1974 temperatures outside right now. 80s and low 90s again. Yes, it is hot, but relatively speaking, doesn't feel all that bad with dew points in the 60s and some low 70s. We are going to gradually see those dew points start rising overnight tonight and more so during the day tomorrow on both sides of the lake. But I also think that the dew points will stay low enough tonight to allow for those temperatures to drop into the upper 60s and mid 70s by wake up time tomorrow. Nothing on radar with one little shower that developed right near the mouth of the river. But again, not often do we have a real pretty afternoon in August that is not dominated by extreme heat. That cold front really helped us out, but the clouds are already starting to return off to our west. There is an upper trough that's going to help to increase our clouds and also maybe produce a few isolated showers as we get into the day tomorrow. So the one trough that brought us the drier air is lifting away. The next little what we call a short wave trough is moving our way, and this is going to be the triggering mechanism for some spotty to scattered showers Friday, maybe going into Saturday, but really the weekend not looking bad at all. Just the typical August heat and humidity ridge of high pressure starts building in and that may bring a return to those heat uh, advisories as well as maybe the excessive heat warnings, depending upon how high those heat index values will get into next week. So the heat is coming back. Unfortunately, we stay quiet overnight tonight, but a few showers start to work their way in by tomorrow afternoon. Models are not overly aggressive with rainfall by any means. 20 30% chance at most during the day tomorrow and probably about the same for the weekend. Our local expert forecast taking us down to La Rose, where again we will start to turn more humid and temperatures into the low. 90s. Great news on the tropics. There are a couple of areas that we are watching. One more of note is a wave that's going to be emerging off of Africa shortly and has a high percent chance of developing. But as I'd been mentioning yesterday, anything that far out, we have plenty of time to watch, especially considering the little bullseye from the Hurricane Center is still over land. So we are not currently tracking a wave over the Atlantic waters. I tend to stay a little bit closer to home, and this is our old frontal boundary. Now, thankfully, it does not look like anything is developing there, and the models are certainly not developing anything along that boundary. So it does look like our tropical forecast, speaking with the Gulf and the Caribbean, are going to stay quiet for a while longer. We are getting closer to the peak of the season each and every day, so you would expect to see an increase in development, but nothing threatening us. A few again spotty showers as we get into the Friday weekend time frame, and then the real more extreme heat starts building back in for next week.